Okay. Well, on this one, we've got a fourth root of x minus 2 equals 3. And since it's a fourth root, all we're going to do is take both sides and take them to the power of 4. So, again, the reason why we're doing this is because if I have four of those x minus 2s multiplied together, the fourth roots, then it gets rid of that square root. Another way to look at this, not that you have to, but um, that would be x minus 2 to the power of 1 fourth, if that fourth root. So if I take this to the power of 4, hopefully we can see that it gets rid of that 1 fourth power there. So that gives us x minus 2 equals 3 to the power 4, which is 81. All right. From here, to solve for x, I would add 2 to both sides. And I would find that x is 83. So I'm going to go into the original equation. I've got the fourth root of x minus 2 equals 3. But I'm going to replace x with 83. And again, we're just looking for this to be a true statement. So that'd be the fourth root of 81. Does that equal 3? Uh, yes, it does. Fourth root of 81 does equal 3. So we can say with confidence that our answer is 83.